Senators to presidentially pardon turkeys have taken up residency at the University of Minnesota, and they're living their best lives. Corin Hoggard got to meet the campus celebrities and found out about the food and the music they've grown to love. I hereby pardon Liberty Ann Bell. From Wilmer to the White House South Lawn, these two Minnesota turkeys are riding the gravy train. President Biden's pardon set free the Jenny O. grown turkeys to live out their lives at the University of Minnesota's College of Food, Agricultural, and Natural Resource Sciences. They have their enclosure, water, feed, and bedding, um, so everything that is needed to have them comfortable. Handlers chose the two toms from a group of birds born in July because they had no problems hearing loud noises and hanging out with humans. So they're both very social, but since coming back from Washington, D.C., they clearly established a pecking order. That's a big bird, man. Liberty made it onto the presidential podium, so he's the big bird on campus, and he acts like it. I know who I am. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I'm cool, and I've been pardoned. Yeah, it's really very interesting. They have distinct personalities. <laughs> Dr. Kahina Bukarub says professors and students keep animal welfare in mind for all the turkeys on campus. But unlike the others, Liberty and Bell won't be the subject of experiments. They get celebrity treatment in a gilded cage, starting with their diet. It has protein, fiber, a lot of uh, minerals and uh, things that are important for their gut health uh, and just for their growth. But a little birdie told me they also gobble up some special treats and you might be surprised by one of their favorites, hot tamales. Apparently they love it. Um, a lot of birds actually like spicy food. They also love music and handlers have seen their tastes change from the early days of training to meet the president. They started as Swifties. Now, apparently, they're transitioning to hip hop and 90s uh, RB music. But let's chill before you try to rub them the right way. It's not that you're never going to get it, it's just that the university will limit their exposure to protect their health. You'll see them act as ambassadors of the university's poultry science program, but only at a few select events. We hope to have them at uh, a gopher game or uh, on Ag Day, um, for example. They likely won't have long tenures on campus. The presidential pardon delayed their swan songs, but commercial turkeys typically only live about five years. Corn Hoggard, Fox 9.